Hello everyone and welcome back to Poetry Surprises. Now, whoever said I was interested in truth? Now that's the question I want to ask today because it seems to me that we're trained from an early age in the whole education process to believe that poetry or art actually deals in truth something eternal, something immutable, that we're looking for something hidden behind the ephemeral realities of daily life. Now, as somebody trying to create works of art, create poems, that's a fairly heavy burden to bear. Um, it means that every time you put pen to paper, you're trying to somehow prize behind the crack of reality and reveal something much bigger than most people see on a day-to-day -day basis as they go about their daily life. Every statement you make becomes a big one. You've got to make your point and get it across and almost like pulling the carpet out from under the reader's feet to show them what the world is really like. Now, to be quite honest, I just think this leads to big time inhibition. I don't think it's helpful at all. It works against creation, not for it. And it certainly works against anyone who's prolific, because if they're a bit glib, as the word you know, means fluent, easy with their creativity, uh, then they're probably not seeing the truth of things. And it builds in a kind of self-doubt because you have to continually push your form, your language, yourself, your ideas to such an extent that you are always going to be questioning what you actually produce. Now, on the flip side of that, what do poets actually write about? Well, by and large, ephemera. Things that pass quickly, glimpses, the wind rustling the trees, a nightingale's song at midnight, doesn't last that long. Love, in and out of it, she loves me, she loves me not. Oh, my moods are changing all the time. And guess what I write about when I write poetry? I write about changing moods. I write about changes in the weather. I write about something I see as I'm walking along a path and then disappears. Now, there seems to be something a bit contradictory here. Here I am supposed to be exploring the true and eternal. And what do I write about? The ephemeral and the passing. Now, whoever said that I actually am looking for the truth? I mean, I'm grabbing a passing experience. I'm not actually trying to tear it apart, undermine it and say it's not really true, that there's something beyond this that is true. And in fact, I feel as if I've been pushed into a corner by thinkers and ideologies and metaphysics into believing that the world around me is somehow illusory and that there's something beyond it which is everlasting and eternal. And somehow my words are going to unpick the fabric of illusion and reveal the stone hard granite surface of truth. Don't think it's the case. I think actually I love the ephemeral. I think I celebrate the passage of things and save the unnoticed from continued obscurity. I pull it out into the poem and give it some kind of recognition. You might say permanence, but that's a little bit poor, you know. I mean, 
permanence for what? You know, a few few years on a page, probably to get ignored, uh, probably to get lost over time. But I pull it out and recognise it because the truth is that it is seeing things that is what is important. Not seeing them, undermining them and saying there's something beyond that is true, good and eternal. The truth is in the seeing. And that is all that matters. And that's why poets are such a problematic bunch, really. Uh, artists are. Because what we're actually doing is actually celebrating things that people are a bit insecure about. Uh, they want their house to remain standing. They want their bank balance to continually rise. They want their their life and their relationships to, to show permanence. They want their life to be permanent. And yet, it's not the case. Everything passes. Everything's ephemeral. It might be the glimpse of a piece of light on a leaf that you mention in a poem or the song of a nightingale at midnight. But it's also... John Hudson passing through life, growing, maturing, decaying, falling. Everything passes. And if there's anything true in art, it is the passage of things and the reclamation briefly of that passage through the work of art, which just establishes it for a little bit of time where we can look at it, celebrate it, enjoy it, and then let it go. So here's my poem for the day. I filmed the scene here at half past five this morning and the poem was written four or five years ago. They kind of have a coincidence, a happy coincidence. And that's what I love about poetry. Hope you enjoy it. Careless. The lakes like copper coins. A text. Phone bill for the month ending. Venus snagged on a telegraph wire. The electricity's due. A dog barks, sets off two more. The crescent moon's a swing to jump on for a joyride. I think to knock on a door or two, but don't. Final demands clog the letterbox. I'll pay them online or gaze onto wanderers among the stars.